Marin Morris is leaving country music. I'm Tony from Country Chord. Let's get right into the story. Today, Marin Morris released a two song project titled The Bridge, featuring The Tree and Get the Hell Out of Here. And although the project is still categorized as country, she's apparently saying goodbye to the genre that she's been a part of since her debut album, Hero, was released in 2016. When talking with the Los Angeles Times, this is what Marin said about her new project. These two songs are incredibly key to my next step because they express a very righteously angry and liberating phase of my life these last couple of years. But also how my navigation is finally pointing towards the future, whatever that may be or sound like. In the music video she released today for the tree, a don't tread on me flag is shown as well as signs that read go woke, go broke and Welcome to Our Perfect Small Town, which is clearly in response to Jason Aldean's single, Try That in a Small Town, released back in May. The Aldean and Morris feud began in August of last year when Jason's wife, Brittany, posted an Instagram video of her putting on makeup with a caption that read, I'd really like to thank my parents for not changing my gender when I went through my tomboy phase. I love this girly life. After the post gathered attention on social media, Cassidy Pope took to Twitter and took a shot at the popular country singer's wife, saying this, You'd think celebs with beauty brands would see the positives in including LGBTQ plus people and their messaging. But instead, here we are, hearing someone compare their tomboy phase to someone wanting to transition. Real nice. And that's when Marin Morris decided to chime in, neither artist directly calling Britney out by name. Brittany ended up responding on Instagram, referring to Marin as Karen and thanking her for calling her Barbie. Due to the feud, Marin later said she probably wouldn't attend the CMA Awards, admitting, I don't know if I feel home there right now. In a recent interview with the LA Times regarding her exit from country music and the current political climate, Marin had this to say. After the Trump years, people's biases were on full display. It just revealed who people really were and that they were proud to be misogynistic and racist and homophobic and transphobic. All these things were being celebrated and it was weirdly dovetailing with this hyper masculine branch of country music. I call it butt rock. So far this year, we've had four songs hit the Billboard Hot 100 chart, which includes Last Night by Morgan Wallen, Fast Car from Luke Holmes, Try That in a Small Town, Jason Aldean, and Rich Men North of Richmond, Oliver Anthony. When asked about the fact that country songs had topped the Billboard Hot 100 chart four times this year, Marin said this, I'd say sure, congratulations on crossing over onto the big all genre chart, but the stories going on within country music right now, I've tried to avoid a lot of it at all costs. I feel very, very distanced from it. Marin also touched on why she believes Jason Aldean's Try That in a Small Town resonated with so many listeners. I think it's a last bastion. People are streaming these songs out of spite. It's not out of true joy or love of the music. It's to own the libs. And that's so not what music is intended for. Music is supposed to be the voice of the oppressed, the actual oppressed. And now it's being used as this really toxic weapon in culture wars. What do you guys think? Mara Morris, do you think she should leave country music? Are you going to miss her? Or maybe you think it's time for her to go. Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like, subscribe, and follow for more country music news from Country Chord. By the way, Head over to our website at countrycord.com for the latest in country music news.